would a loving God create a torture chamber that he sends people to? And what possible finite crime could justify infinite punishment in this literal hellhole? It doesn't make any moral sense, and it really just sounds like a boogeyman story to scare people away from questioning their religious beliefs. If I create this bottle, only I can decide everything to do with that bottle. In the exact same way, Allah created us. Therefore, only he can decide everything to do with his creation. Which is exactly why he says in the Quran, لا يسأل عما يفعل وهم يسألون. He will never be questioned about what he does. But since you thought that you presented a logical argument in your video, I will give you some logic back to show you that that was not the case. Firstly, how long does it take to pull the trigger? A split second. Yet that split second can land you in prison for a lifetime. This shows us that the duration of punishment has nothing to do with the duration of the crime. It's actually the severity of the crime that determines the length of the punishment. Now ask yourself, which crime is more severe? Committing an injustice to a plant or to a human being? Obviously a human being because of the value and attributes of a human being higher than that of a plant. Now imagine committing an injustice to your creator whose value and attributes are infinitely more than a human and are maximal. Of course the crime is going to be infinitely worse, which is going to lead to infinite punishment. And remember, just because it doesn't make any moral sense to you, which is ironic that you say moral anyway, it doesn't mean that it doesn't exist. In the exact same way that I personally do not understand quantum physics, doesn't mean quantum physics doesn't exist. So to wrap up, it's worth mentioning that the only way to avoid this torture chamber is by being a Muslim. A Muslim is literally someone that submits to God. When we realize that this life that we have right now was given to us for free by our creator, we must submit to our creator because it is he that governs every aspect of our lives because he's the creator. By doing that, it's a win-win situation because the only thing our creator asks of us is to strive to do good and to avoid that which is bad. Which is why Allah says in the Quran, Indeed, those who believe and do good deeds, for them is heaven as an accommodation for eternity. That sounds like a loving God to me.